VPNs are mostly pointless from a privacy perspective. There are two VPNs that I recommend. You haven't heard of them. But first, let's talk about why VPNs are mostly pointless. As long as you see that little shield and that little lock in your URL, it means that you are securely connected to a website. What this means is that all traffic to and fro is encrypted and the only ones who can actually see the information are you, the client, and them, the server. So your ISP is not able to see the actual data that you are sending to a website, but what they are able to see is something called a DNS lookup. My website address is my domain name and a domain name lookup is whenever it matches the website address with the IP of my server. A lot of the time your DNS lookup is already handled underneath some form of encryption. This is HTTPS encryption. You can head over to dnsleaktest.com and run a little test and you will be able to see. Boom, boom, boom. None of these DNS servers are hosted by my ISP. But just for S's and G's, I decided to go ultra secure. Search DNS inside of your web browser settings if you want to turn this on. I re-ran the test and now you can see that I only have one server that is doing my DNS lookups. So why the heck would you ever use a VPN? Mostly for this. So my DNS settings are set by my router and they use Google and Cloudflare in order to look up all their stuff. You can also set your DNS settings up inside of your computer or inside of your web browser. But if you're using a VPN like this one, then it automatically just uses a secure DNS server that you know that you can trust, presumably. Some VPN services add additional like improvements like blocking advertisers and blocking a certain malicious website. All right, here's those two VPNs that you have never heard of. iVPN, open source VPN, a do not advertise, and you will never see me advertise for any of those people like NordVPN or any of those other ones that keep small YouTube creators afloat. The other one is Mozilla VPN. Now this one is already integrated into the Firefox web browser and it also like helps to support uh, Mozilla who is the one that makes Firefox uh, web browser. They've got like a lot of awesome privacy tools by the way. All right, let's talk about things that you can actually do to make your website browsing private. So install uBlock Origin. And what uBlock does is it blocks advertising sites. This is what it looks like whenever I have it turned on. And that's what it looks like whenever I have it turned off. The other one is Privacy Badger. Here's the deal. Even if you're on a VPN and you visit a site that is using a Metapixel in order to do like advertisements and tracking and stuff like that, that's Facebook, by the way. They're fucking evil. Even if you have a VPN turned on and you have all the security settings in the world, your data is still being tracked. It is still being saved and sent back to Big Daddy Meta. Privacy Badger blocks those trackers automatically. It should be noted that Firefox on Android is able to install both of these add-ons that I've mentioned, whereas Chrome has essentially completely disabled the ad blocker that I mentioned. 